A high-level Russian delegation led by Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Navy visited the Mazagin dock ship builders, and they inspected an undisclosed under-construction warship, and held strategic discussions with the Indian side. With a focus on developing a future-ready robotic army, the DRDO has started development of humanoid robots that could conduct reconnaissance and combat operations. India's Strategic Forces Command has conducted a successful night test of its nuclear-capable Prithvi-2 ballistic missile yesterday, to validate the missile's performance under various operational conditions. Bharat Dynamics Limited has announced that user trials for the 7 km range Helena anti-tank guided missile will start in 2025, that will be integrated onto the Prachan light combat helicopter. The Indian Army conducted a joint training in operating infantry combat vehicles with the Tanzanian Army. An U.S. Army delegation visited Indian Army's School of Artillery for the 26th India U.S. Executive Steering Group meeting. Indian High Commissioner paid his introductory call to the head of Bangladesh Interim Government Mohammed Yunus, and reiterated India's commitment to work together. According to a media report, the Indian Air Force is all set to issue a request for proposal for 114 MRFA fighter jets to invite bids from international original equipment manufacturers, and given the momentum behind the South Korean KF-21 program, there is growing speculation about whether South Korea might participate in India's MRFA tender. South Korea has been actively seeking international partners for the KF-21 program, and the 4.5 generation fighter could be a compelling option for the Indian Air Force, however, it will face fierce competition from established players such as the French Rafale and the Swedish Gripen. The participation of KF-21 could offer India a cost-effective and technologically advanced solution, particularly if South Korea offers attractive terms of technology transfer and local production. South Korea is also seeking international collaboration for the development of an indigenous 115 kN engine, that will have same dimensions as the American F-414 engine, which could be a good option for India's AMCA program. The Indian Navy is set to significantly enhance its strike capabilities with the induction of the LoRa missile system, that was initially procured directly from Israel, and is now being manufactured locally by Bharat Electronics Limited. It offers a long strike range of 400 km, and it can be equipped with various warheads, including high explosive, cluster munitions and thermobaric options. The Indian Air Force is collaborating with a private sector company, to develop a glider mother ship pod, that will house four loitering munitions, that would be launched from the C-130, thus effectively doubling the range of loitering munition from 100 km to 200 km. A single C-130 aircraft could carry up to 30 such pods, translating to a launch capacity of 120 loitering munitions. Launching them from C-130 offers several strategic advantages, like extended range, rapid response due to airborne deployment, minimized risk to ground personnel, and element of surprise for covert operations. By developing core technologies and components for the Indian multi-role helicopter, Hindustan Aeronautics will have the capability to lay the foundation for a heavier attack helicopter. An indigenous heavier attack helicopter will give the ability to carry heavier weapon sensors and fuel, enabling deeper penetration into enemy territory. While HAL has not officially confirmed plans for an Apache-class helicopter, but the decision to proceed with the development of a heavy attack helicopter will be based on a careful assessment of India's strategic needs technological capabilities and economic considerations. Today's Top 3 Comments